you can see around doing some winter steelhead fishing it's cold snowy ice all over the place it's I think we started today it was like 12 out it's been a rough start Ricky over here which is trying to get me up yeah, there we go. get me a fish he had the worst start of all of us his waders blew out think about that 12 degrees 34 degree 33 degree of water and you in your waders start gushing so he had to go break out find a pair of waders he's got a pair of neoprenes on he hasn't worn neoprenes for years so the question is that Rick's already asked does it make his butt look fat <laughs> <laughs> But he's smiling, I'm he looks warm, warm. <laughs> and he's back to fishing. <laughs> All the joys of cold weather fishing. If you got holes in your waders this time of the year, you'll find out. Now he just needs to catch me a, there we go, getting pointed, catch me a fish. Oh, we're going to see what we can do. It's cold, it's icy. Uh, it's real cold, it's real icy. Well, we're going to bang around here a little bit. The fish have been pretty crabby. I've dropped a couple. Rick's dropped a couple. But we're going to see what we can do. Maybe the sunshine will wake them up. Well, let's see if we can find a fish. Think he's about ready for a net jab? What's that? Ready for the net? Alright. We'll try to net him down below you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you're back. I'll turn the finger. Finger off you with a net. Don't. Hold enough, we won't lift him out of the water. Looks like he's been around for a little while. Just a little. Alright, go ahead and. Send him on his way. Bye bye. How's the old water feel on the hand? Cold. 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 <laughs> hey, we got one. All right, give you a little update what's going on here. Um, it's cold, as you can tell. We're bundled up, snow. We got my warm gloves on, boot foot. In fact, it's so cold I can actually feel this water through my boot foot waders. As a result, we're not even going to try and swing. I mean, we're picking ice off my rods. We're having, a lot, having to go into full ice control. So we've been kind of dead drifting some nymphs around the slots and a few egg patterns, trying to see if we can get them loved. I got a little hot bead black stone on here. Uh, so far, mm, snubbed. Got a couple bites and some golden stones, real short take. So they're really crabby today. And we're having to run indicators. I mean, I think I got a buoy on the end of this thing someplace. Uh, some floats just to control the drift, slow things down, get it into slot. So that's what we're doing. Really typical winter conditions. Um, in the last couple of weeks, we've gotten slammed into full-on winter mode. So that's basically what's going on right now. We're trying to get a couple of bites, and we've had a few drops and some short takes. But right now, just a lot of cash into the far bank. We're going to keep working on it.
give me a minute. Do what you have to do, George. I switched off. I hope the stones. I hope uh, we've been working with this point. The stone fly fight seems to be on pretty good, but when it's slowing down, I moved over to a crystal meth fly. Egg pattern? Yeah, crystal meth. As you know, those always typically produce more of some such. I'm trying to show them something different. I work my way back up to this little heavy over here. Soft takes today, man. Very soft. The two heavy that are just missed. This one I was even uncertain when I had one time. But I got a good, uh, just feel a good take. This line kind of stopped. And <laughs> what was that comment? George is afraid of the frozen finger syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I sure as hell. Right, right. Yeah, we don't. He gets to do the release shot. Yeah, really. Nobody wants to catch a fish because nobody wants to hold the fish in the water. Yeah. We're going to have to do cheat and go back to our files. Yep. <laughs> Damn it, I think guys have got something they come out and hold the fish. <laughs> yeah, really. Maybe we ain't dealing with crabby fish. Maybe we're just dealing with the fact that we just don't want to touch one in this cold weather. Cold water. You go to set the hook and go, oh no! Yeah, right. <laughs> we may have to hold this for a photo. <laughs> uh, hook in hand. Here you go. Exactly. <laughs> have you had a fish on today? Here. Find, find some young kid and say, yeah, hey, you want to find a fish? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What we'll do is we'll just kind of, we'll do a swim by with the camera there. There's our fish yacht. Exactly. <laughs> Big, but it's big. Yeah, that's why I got the hookup too. You ready for the net? I think we can hold on to that. Yeah, you know, for the little guy, he's pretty plucky. Yeah, it's a little brown trout. Ooh, nice. Tough day, we'll Fish is 
Never underestimate her from the Mega Prince. <laughs> Right, the snowstorm comes Pop her down the seat, Okay, y'all set? Yeah, I won't put you. Alright, see you, buddy. That way. That water's cold. Ooh! Mm. Yowie! <laughs> that was awesome. What a fight. <laughs> I haven't had a steelhead run around on me like that in a long time. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Now warm my hands up, somehow. <laughs> Seems awfully calm. Yeah, yeah well, you know now. what I'm saying, dude. Just trying to figure out how they're gonna kind of whip yeah, your backside. Yeah, yeah, I don't trust. Them. Tom. That was a very polite fish. That was a very polite fish. Yeah, eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick, does that fish come out of the heading the too fat to fight? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Quit shaking, you yeah, actually, it's cold up here. <laughs> Good 
Throw the back and fish toward you a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Right, very funny. <laughs> we think it's in the thing. Yeah. Hey, we want the same face as you are. <laughs> hey, George. Yeah? Did you let that fish go? I did. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next time, let's get a throw release, the fish yeah. away. Yeah. 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 All right, folks. We had a nice flurry about midday today with the fish. Yeah, I got a, a nice bunch of action. They all, it was all on stone flies. They weren't really too interested in swinging. But we're going to shut it down for today. We're going to be back on the water tomorrow. It's starting to get cold and the fish have shut down. So I think it's time for us to take a clue or a lead from the fish and go thaw out and call it a day. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, we're trying it again. This is day two. We're having a really slow start today. We got up this morning, it was seven degrees. So, cold. Now it's about mid-morning now. We're gonna try it for a couple hours, see if we can hook a fish, and um, then go from there. So, let's see what we can ha do on day two. And Rick just picked up a fish. Geez, I can't even I can't even tie a fly on. Golden stone. All right, really quick, get all the way here to watch Rick. Really quick heads up what's going on here. We're in a tight spot right here. So we gotta be really gentle with these fish so they don't blow out of this spot and we lose them because we can't chase them right here. We're just went into a really quick spot close to the vehicles because it's cold and we don't wanna, we don't have a lot of time today. So as a result, we're in a really tight corner here and Rick's gotta be very careful with this fish. So let's see if we can get it in there. Let me know when you're ready for some net action. What's that? Alright. Hey Richard, <laughs> so it's not bad, didn't say it was warm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> With this water temperature, handling this fish in the water like this and keeping them wet, everything's relative. Bye bye, buddy. <laughs> Cold. Cold? But fun! Hanging up on a golden stone. I'm amazed how they can find themselves entangled. Oh my gosh. So we call that mixture with a golden stone and a mega prince. Hot luck. Mm. A mutt? <laughs> a mutt. Mine grow flies? Nope. Foster and River? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Trying to work around with rubber legs in front of those mega prints can be fun. There we go. Mm. 
I gotta tie around those rubber legs. Everything in the winter just seems to take twice as long. There we go, got a knot tied successfully. Our Mega Prince seems to be working good for me. Rick's doing pretty good with Golden Stones right now. I'm running with Mega Prince. I think both like colored flies with rubber legs. Something about Steelhead, they like rubber legs. Oh, you might take a deal with that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we might call him Benji. Yeah, that's what that's what the pop is. That thing was angry. Yeah. There's no chase in here. <laughs> that well, you can chase, but you're going to float. <laughs> still cranking. Up in the rocks. Oh. Did you fly back? Yeah, it did. That was a whipping. Hey Rick. Yeah. What happened? He let me go. <laughs> he let you go? They do that once in a while, don't they? Yes, they do. <laughs> so yesterday, Jay, we had some success with these little egg sucking leeches. This almost is almost like a kind of what I call a hot bead bugger. Yeah. Except they don't yeah. have a bead on them. You know, and I've noticed that during our steelhead season, our winter steelhead season. These small, like size 8 buggers, have always worked out pretty well for me. And I picked up a couple of these yesterday, and they produced a couple fish for us. Yeah, we, we got a couple on there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm well, going to... Let's see if they'll eat yeah, today. Yeah, let's see if they'll produce today. Always fun trying to work the gloves on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially with these... I like these mittens because I can I can warm as needed, flip these over, and then they give you some dexterity, obviously. Yeah, well, I go old but school. It, I wear deerskin gloves. You know what? That's a good call. They, they come off easy, and they just stuff in your pocket. If they Instead, get wet, they'll dry out. When they dry out, they're still kind of soft. So, as you can see, I now have two extra thumbs here randomly flailing away, and they often get in your way. 
when tying. Yeah, I could take the time to snap them in place, but... Oh, God, that, that would be thinking that, ahead. Yeah, it would. That would be thinking far, far, far too far ahead for me. Remember five weight. <laughs> dropping in the squirrel. Same spot. I'm like, okay, there's that squirrel again. Then the squirrel started to point back. I'll start the back pole back. Well, I'm watching. Is any going like this? Yes. Don't point. I just keep my eyes like, why is he so That was funny. The brown pig set the whole year up. Oh, uh, uh, now I gotta go easy on my clients. Uh, <laughs> if you check that next email, you want to set that one? <laughs> Again, we're going to talk about our setup really quick. Um, standard switch rod, st um, long leader setup. Obviously, we're using running an indicator so we can dead drift some nymphs today because of the cold. On this particular rod, I happen to have my Scandi system. The reason for running the Scandi is I'm too lazy to put a Scandi on. And it was working, so I stuck with it. Uh, Rick was using pretty much the same setup. George is using pretty much the same setup as I am. But they're just running skagits with floating tips and the 10 foot leaders. Here I got my skein with no tip, and I got uh, about a 10 12 foot leader with, a, with some sort of indicator to control the drift and our favorite um, whatever nymph we happen to get the fish to eat. Tippets, we've been running a little bit light. Uh, 4X, 3X has been what we've been having to resort to do for today. That's been pretty much the gear setup. All right, we're going to kind of call this video. It's a um, couple of days out on the cold water, in the cold water on a couple of cold days, steelhead fishing. The fish cooperated, which was awesome. We got into a few, got into a few nice fish, got our butts kicked. 
But anyways, um, thanks for watching, folks. Um, once again, hit the little subscribe button. we got a bunch of stuff coming. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of fly tying, some more fishing through the winter, a lot of winter fishing stuff. So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you can, even share the video. Until next time. Yeah, it's like... <clears throat> Hey, I got that one. Back the hell out of that. Oh! Jay, oh. what happened? Man, as hard as that thing ate that fly and it came on hook. <laughs> Ooh, good amount of practice. <laughs> Your turn, Rick. This is Jay at JPEC Guides and Lost River Fishing. We are a year round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries. And then during the spring and the summer, we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer, we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you are interested in any of our islands or have any questions, please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.